Employers hired at a solid pace in December, capping a year of steady gains for the job market. Edward Lawrence has more details. The last time the economy created more than 216,000 jobs, September of 2023, the unemployment rate remained under 4% every month last year. In a statement, President Joe Biden says the report confirms 2023 was a good year for workers, adding, I know that some prices are still too high for too many Americans, and I am doing everything in my power to lower everyday costs for hardworking Americans. In the report, the government sector created the second most jobs in December. Some economists say this is not sustainable. I think we've had now for the last uh, year or two, the government kind of carrying the economy on its shoulders. That cannot persist. In an interview, the acting labor secretary never answered those concerns when pressed. But is it sustainable for government jobs to be one of the leading sectors? Well, I mean, the question that has been asked all year long was, you know, is this growth sustainable? And we certainly saw from 2022 to 2023, right, the average number went down uh, uh, significantly into a more sustainable um, um, figure. This report may give the Federal Reserve pause about cutting rates as early as March. Average hourly wage is up 4.1 percent over the past 12 months. The hot jobs report and wage pressures could push inflation. The bottom 20 percent are really hurting and then the top 20 percent are still prospering. So, yeah, it's a very uneven economy and obviously that's going to have profound political ramifications. And people will vote on kitchen table issues in the next election, which is why you see President Biden cheering on hotter than expected jobs reports. At the White House, Edward Lawrence, Fox Business.